Welcome to Theology Talks, hosted by Northern Seminary. My name is Jeff Holsklaw, and I'm sitting here with David Fitch, the Betty R. Linder Chair of Evangelical Theology, and we're asking, what is culture? Dave, what is culture? I know you guys yeah, so know. First of all, so first of all, evangelical theology means theology engaging the culture for the gospel. All right, so that's what I do. I teach culture, theology, and ethics at Northern Seminary. All right, so here's the definition of culture from H. Richard Niebuhr. He says it's the secondary environment the artificial secondary environment which man superimposes on nature, the way things are. So this includes... It's everything we do. It's everything we do, all the things we use to communicate and engage and organize our lives together. So he says it's language. Do you speak a language? I do. I speak one language. I got a joke about language. Do you speak English, for instance? Friends. Habits, ideas, beliefs, customs. The things that we assume, like for instance, Holtzclaw's got a very fashionable sweater on here. He dresses better than me, you know. True story. Blah, 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 but anyways. Customs, customs are like driving on the right side of the road, reading from left to right. Yeah, we all know it, yes. we just don't. Things you do that you don't even think about. Now. Yeah, exactly. Social organization, the way we organize ourselves, we all have clocks. It's, we don't think about it a lot. Matter of fact, a lot of us have gotten rid of our watches, we just look on our phones, it's still there. Time. Inherited artifacts. You might be considered paintings, pots, uh, I was going to consider you an artifact. No, I'm not that old. Uh, technical processes, phones are part of culture. The Railroads, way we, the internet. Values. Like it's really important to be hip and cool and have <laughs> facial hair. Okay, but fo folks, the reason why we want to talk about culture is it's the, it's the air we breathe. It's the water we swim in. A part which there can be no communication. Uh, of the gospel, an understanding of who we are in Christ, but also in these systems, God is working for salvation because these systems are often corrupted by evil, pain, suffering, uh, victimization, and so God wants us to engage culture for the gospel. And so this means we have to go in, open up space, and learn and understand the rhythms, the narratives, the way things work in our surrounding culture to be able to proclaim the gospel, not just in, in terms of what God is doing individually to save us as individuals, but what, how he wants to transform the way we live in the gospel, in reconciliation, in forgiveness, in wholeness, in renewal, in healing. God wants to work in our cultures. So that's why we study culture and theology here at Northern Seminary. For all of you out there, understanding the culture that you're in and understanding how God's at work in the culture is part of what it means to follow Christ uh, with wisdom and discernment, uh, and it's part of what it was necessary for proclaiming the gospel. So, right. Pay attention to the culture you're in, figure it out, uh, and move with God wherever He's leading. You know, there are two typical ways we have engaged culture that haven't always worked. One has been called the kind of cultural left. We're going to sociologically organize or sociologically study a culture, see its problems, and if we're the church, we're going to say those problems are bad, then we're going to go solve the problems. Right? All right. That, and sometimes that doesn't have any reference maybe to God or Jesus or what or the kingdom of I God. I suggest to you that's, that's the way we get exhausted. Uh, so that's solving. the left. What's the right? The right is we have some moral issues that we are convinced of and we're going to tell everybody else in the culture what to do and it often gets aligned, oddly enough, with existing culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what we want to study is how God is at work in the culture through grace, but also how he's working against systemic violence and evil and how the church is the place where we proclaim the gospel, help people see what God's doing, call people into the gospel to to submit to him as lord of their lives in the culture so that's why culture left is, right engage that's why culture is important this is david fitch my name is jeff holskall and this is theology talks from northern seminary